So I've moved my Ghana Pora to my new little frag tank and he's opened up. He hasn't been opened in months. I didn't want him to die. I picked up another little Ghana Pora there. Um, you can see him, he's open up. So I started this little 10 gallon frag tank, but Duncan's doing good. That is healing, you can see on the back side there. It's been like that, it's not doing good. I got those for free. This guy here, um, he's been hanging in there, but that's my Ghani. My chalice here, um, he's turning white, so I moved him. My tank was having some issues, um, but my, my Ghani right there has shaped up a ton. I put him in here, and in one night, he was back to normal. Let's show you some new uh, filamented wraps. It's finally come out. He got ick. The day I put him in, he had it the next day. He's pretty shy, but he's been getting better. Uh, he's been in here for a couple weeks. Uh, he's doing good. This is my other 29-gallon quarantine tank. Um, I just got to slowly start getting some of the sand out. He's not going to come out, probably. He hides in there. This is my setup. Uh, I had some issues. I sent in an ICP test for my water and everything was wet way off. They said it was terrible. Um, I need to start doing some 15% water changes for the next six weeks. So I started doing it and I was having algae growth everywhere. Um, so I ended up buying a UV light, which I already told you that cleared the tank up, but this stuff here is still growing in here, but it's been getting better and better and better. I'm doing heavy water changes constantly. Um, I put a Brightwell brick in there. You can't see it very good. It's, it's in there. And that's going to take the place of all the biomedia in here. It's supposed to be good for well over 100 gallons. Um, right now, I have zero nitrates due to putting a Brightwell XLM product in, which was the wrong product. Uh, the tank, I'm still waiting for it to bounce back. I've cut my dosing down a lot. I found out, and this is good for you guys to know, if you don't keep these caps loose or drill a little pinhole in them, the, the doser can't pull the liquid out and you think it's dosing, but nothing's actually coming out over here. It, it starts to suck some of the bottles in, but at some point it's gonna stop dosing because it's in a negative pressure and it can't pull anymore. So here I'm thinking I'm dosing 35 mils of magnesium and I was dosing like 15 because uh, it wasn't coming out anymore. So, uh, Keep that in mind if you're using these as dosing containers. Other than that, I set up my little 10 gallon with a Kessel 160 tuna blue. I bought the little controller for it. I bought a Hygar mini little water uh, wave pump that's working out great for a little 10 gallon tank. Um, I keep it really blue. Uh, so that's this little pump right here. It's just working out phenomenal. It's dead silent. Um, I have it set on its lowest speed. It's an up and down wave of motion. You can probably see it's blowing my stuff around. Keeps movement. I've got the 30 gallon Aquion filter, no skimmer. Um, I'm just doing heavy water changes. And these are my baby fancy clownfish. I'm, they're in here because they're too small still to put my other tank. I'm using a Aquion automatic heater. It just keeps it at 78 all the time, no matter what, works great. So it's a small tank. I bought a piece of acrylic, cut it out for the top. So it's just all clear. I screwed this one up, but I'm gonna make a new one. But anyways, I got the gooseneck here, the Kessel 160 light and the controller all for like 380 on Amazon. Uh, I ordered a 3D printed frag rack to throw some frags in. Um, now I just want to go bigger, it's 10 gallons. I, I wanted to get one of the 20 gallon breeder tanks. They're pretty good. It's, it's going to be a little longer, the same height, but I would have to probably get another light and those lights are not cheap. Kessel's lights are just overpriced. They're one of the most expensive lights. I probably could have done a $400 XR15 Ecotech and done a Holt frag tank with it. And this one, is focused on a 24 inch area and it's so tight to the tank that tank's not deep enough to really take advantage of it i'm running it at uh 25 percent right now right oh it's only it's at it's at night so it's down to 20 percent and the color is 10 percent so almost full blue it shows everything it shows your the 
the color and you, it's just one color all day and it shows the, the brightness of it up and then down. Uh, it's pretty cool. It, you can set acclimation mode so you can go into here, you get different settings, but I would say overall, you don't have to use it with this, but then it has no sunset or sunrise. It also does not dim down like a Ecotech. It doesn't dim until it fades out. It only dims down to like 10% and then turns off. So that I wasn't happy about, but I just wanted a simple light. You've got intensity and you've got uh, your color and same on the controller, nothing fancy, but yet it produces a perfect spectrum of light for growth. So you're paying for the quality of the spectrum and everything and simplicity if that's what you want. Um, but I'm super impressed. So this here is also magnetic. It'll stick to anything. It came with a mount that's magnetic. Um, the high guard controller has no mount, but it's a $70 wave pump for like up to a 20 gallon tank. It's working great. It has a clock. So each time of the day it changes to whatever I want it to do. The graph on here shows how hard the motor is working, which is really nice because you know what it's doing. I use a sine wave that goes up and down gently, and you can increase the gent gentleness, speed it up, slow it down, you can increase the power. But until the fish are out, I'm going to keep the power low because I don't want them being blown around. And it's, it's good enough. The Duncans like a lot of movement, but the others don't. But anyways, I thought I'd upload a video because... I haven't done one in a while. Everything down here is still the same. I just cleaned it up a little more. Got, uh, oh, I bought the Mighty Jet DC driven 550 gallon per hour pump for my UV light. It's this little pump. It's cute as can be and it works great. Um, the screen shows the watts it's running at. Um, it's hard to see on here. Let me shut this off. So, and then. Here's your up, you press it once, it gets brighter, then it shows 1.9 is max power, which is 23 watts, and then you can just turn it down, 1.8, 1.7. Uh, down here would be the minimum, and it's gonna draw eight watts. So I keep it up at 1.8, and then this is feed mode, and you press it again to take it out, or else it comes out in 10 minutes. So you can see it's ramping up, 21 watts. Pretty cool. Works good, my tank's crystal clear. It fits right in there, matches the Vectra Ecotech pump. Um, I do have a Kato reactor, but I'm not using it because my nitrates are zero right now. And my and my Neofos, I've been dosing Neofos for the phosphates because they that's been zero. Uh, so until that stuff stabilizes, I can't go much further. But my Auto Aqua water change system and top off work. I did have another pump burnout which now they're questioning it could be the controller. It's like my third pump, but uh, this is a brand new controller, so it's not the controller. Uh, their pumps are just cheap. But anyways, everything else is okay. My little station here, I bought a auto mixer. This thing is the best. So stick your little tablet in and you turn it on and it mixes your chemicals for you. And this one's the variable speed one which you gotta get, because the other one spins too fast. Yep, runs in a nine volt battery. It works great. It's great for mixing all your chemicals. Um, even the Red Sea ones fit in there fine. You just have to pick up some um, more of the little and pills, their pill, magnetic pills, which you can buy easily online. Uh, and then you can use them all. So I thought that was cool. So overall, things are going okay. This tank had that meltdown. I'm still recuperating. It's burning through my fleece roll like crazy, but I don't care because it's easier than having to deal with silver socks. I found a bristle worm in here. I left him because he eats the tritus and stuff, and it is a kind of a mess down there. My snail has not been keeping up. You can see him in the back corner there. I gotta get some more snails in here. All right, guys, um, I'm sorry I don't release videos every week, but I am so busy with work right now. I don't have time. Uh, I showed you my new fish. He's right here. He's a beautiful filamented wrasse in the fan fancy wrasse family. Uh, they're also known as pigtail wrasses. Uh, here, let me see if I can get a better photo. I'm happy with the 10 gallon for now. You can see how little it is. But uh, 
everything's doing so good in there. So I found out my chemicals are off from the ICP test. Uh, they just said to keep doing water changes to get things back. And uh, that's what I've been doing. So that's it. All right, guys. Uh, just let me know if there's anything else. Anything you want to know. The skimmer is still doing this because it's pulling out the Brightwell XLM I put in, which is only for new non-cycled tanks. It screwed my tank up so bad. Uh, I will slowly be pulling these out. Uh, I'll be putting them in that bucket that's uh, heated all the time. Getting these out until we're down to the one little brick that's in there that does over 100 gallons of water. All right, anything else? Uh, just let me know and um, I'll do the best I can to help you out. Uh, I'll have to put this guy's tank back because I don't think he likes the white bright. Okay, you guys uh, take it easy. Uh, and please like and subscribe. I know I don't post a lot of videos, but it really helps. It, it, it promotes everything. I don't make money on this. I'm just doing this for the fun of it for now. I'm hoping one day to make some money to afford my hobby is the idea. And, and I'm willing to share anything with you guys, okay? Because there's a lot in this field. And I buy a lot of stuff and I try it. Some things I like, some things I don't. All right, take it easy.